back guys, it is Monday morning, very chilly here today in London. So I've been up since five, prepping my sourdough, my cookie dough, morning bun dough, some crackers, and I've also got some loaves that I make without gluten that I have to do later on. And if you guys watched my last video, you will know that I promised either a baguette recipe or a bagel recipe. and. So today I've decided I'm going to make baguettes for the first time. On my bakery stages, so when I went for work experience at a few bakeries, I've always kind of come in at the like second day. So I've I've shaped baguettes before, but very briefly. And then I also did a baguette workshop, but we didn't actually make baguettes. We just decorated the baguettes with like pretty flowers and that sort of thing. So I've never actually made them from scratch and it's always something that I've wanted to learn how to do. So today is the day and we're gonna be doing it together. So I'm a beginner, I'm a newbie, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna follow this recipe from a baker friend of mine. And this is a yeasted baguette recipe um, using T65 French flour, well, the flour that I'm using is actually Wild Farm 265 um, and it's simply got flour, water, yeast and salt and that is it. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'm a bit nervous, um, but yeah, let's get cracking. So to make the baguettes, I first measure out 750 grams of T65 flour and 250 grams of whole grain flour as I wanted to incorporate a little more depth of flavour into my baguettes as we aren't using any sourdough starter for these ones. I then mix the flour with 700 grams of water and let this rest for 30 minutes in the mixer. This is the auto lease and this means the flour is fully hydrated, builds fermentation slowly and also builds beautiful extensibility in the dough meaning for a better, more open crumb. Okay guys, so it's been about half an hour now, so the dough has been auto leasing and I'm going to add in the fresh yeast. So this is fresh yeast that I buy from the local Polish supermarket. Um, one of my baker friends recommended it to me a while ago because I was always so frustrated as to how to actually buy fresh yeast online because normally you have to buy enormous blocks and currently in terms of my production, I don't really use that much fresh yeast. I've just kind of been experimenting with it. I use dried yeast, I use sourdough, um, and it just wasn't working out online. So she was like, you can buy it from the Polish supermarkets. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's like 50p. Um, so all I need is eight grams. So I'm just gonna measure it out on here. And then I need 20 grams of salt as well. But if you don't have access to any fresh yeast, you could always try ordering some online or swapping for four grams of dried yeast. I then transferred the dough into a big container and let this rest for 30 minutes at room temperature before transferring into the fridge overnight for a long cold ferment. So the next day, I brought the dough up to room temperature before dividing and pre-shaping each baguette at 350 grams. If you want to try the mini baby baguettes like I was here, try scaling to 170 grams each. Leave the dough to rest for 20 minutes and then shape into your baguette. I tried a couple different methods for this and I'm still learning, so bear with me. The most successful method I tried was this one, where I degas the dough and shape into a sort of rectangle. I then fold down the top half into the middle, bring in both sides into the middle, folding over the top again to create your seam. Then with a fair amount of force, I start from the middle and start rolling into a long baguette shape. I pop each 
each of the shaped baguettes onto a lightly floured tea towel or you could call it a couche but I don't have one of those yet. I then cover these with another tea towel proofing for about 45 minutes to an hour. I put mine on top of my oven as it's particularly cold here in London at the moment but you could always try popping them near a radiator or in a warm room in your house. Let me just show you first of all looking looking pretty good I think for a first attempt. I know there's like a proper technique to this but I can't really remember what that is. Maybe if I start at this This isn't how you're meant to do it, I do know that for sure. Anyway, that's the first one on there, like so. Okay, so it's kind of like a flipping motion, so I'm taking the, the tea towel on this side with my right hand, popping the board to the left of the baguette, flipping it over. It's not long enough, but that's okay. I'm just gonna adjust it slightly here. Um, and now I'm just gonna simply score them at a 45 degree angle oh it's a bit tricky because my blade isn't the sharpest make sure you have a sharp blade guys this makes it a lot easier As you can see, I was baking my baguettes in my RM2020 oven at 250 degrees Celsius. But to bake these at home, I'd suggest preheating your oven to 250 degrees Celsius. And if you have one, placing an oven stone in the middle rack with a tray of water underneath, as this will add steam to your baguettes. Transfer your baguettes onto the oven stone carefully and bake it 250 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes with the steam tray underneath. See how you go, you may have to remove the steam after 20 minutes if you're wanting a crustier baguette, but I am hoping this should work fairly well for you. Let me know how you get on. I can see initially is um, because my blade wasn't sharp enough it meant that my cuts weren't deep enough but I mean they're pretty good for a first attempt what do you think let me just pop them down hang on here is my most traditional style French baguette it smells amazing it's so hot wow um, so as you can see, I've still got a bit of a way to go with my shaping because it's a little bit skinny at the end here and it's not that even, but, and then also underneath, you'll notice it's just a little bit wonky in general. So there's room to grow, room, room to improve as well. Um, I'm going to let these cool down and I'm going to have this for my lunch. I'm thinking I'm going to have it with smoked salmon and rocket and maybe some avocado, just like a lovely little baguette sandwich. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with these, like they are definitely a labour of love, but wow, that is so satisfying to see that. And I just can't wait to get better and to really improve on my shaping. So this is probably my best seeded one. And as you can see, do you see, it hasn't quite opened up in the cuts that I made just because the blade wasn't fresh enough, it wasn't sharp enough. Um, so I'll know that for next time. And also it did make it a little bit difficult slicing through the, the seeds as well, which is interesting. So I'll have to figure out a way to, to work on that. But I mean, come on, like that's, that's pretty good for a first attempt, isn't it? And then my little baby ones, oh, see, look, that is burnt underneath. Um, I mean, I'll still have it, it's fine. But that is just like a lovely size for lunch for one person. So that's a 170 gram dough one. Um, yeah, this one is a little bit burnt underneath as well, but that's okay. I think it was, yeah, this deck was actually 270 degrees, so it is just a little bit too dark, um, but I mean, I'm so, so happy with that. So guys, um, 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're gonna give baguettes a go at home yourself. You definitely should. It's super, super cool, super fun. Um, there's loads of practice involved. Obviously, I still have so much to learn and so much to improve on, but I really hope you guys got something out of this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next time. Do you like these tutorial style videos? Um, yeah, tell me what you want me to make next time and I'll make it and we can make it together. Um, I am thinking of maybe doing like bagels next time. But if you have any other ideas at all that you want me to make, just leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for your support. Bye, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good. Woohoo!